The January transfer market is closed and Tottenham Hotspur have done a little bit of business during this time. During today's video, we will be discussing and seeing what Tottenham Hotspur have done during the January transfer market. In no order, we are starting with Delhi Alley to Everton, uh, one, of the most, one of the most unpredictable news that has happened. I was very surprised that that happened. I didn't think it would be a transfer. I thought it would be a loan. It's very, it's very surprising seeing that Delhi Alley actually left the club on permanent deal to Everton and he's now a toffee it's a bit weird saying that but definitely it helps his career and we all have to remember he's 25 years old so he's still extremely extremely young he's a creative midfielder and it will definitely help Everton and their strikers with Charles and Cavalier to receive some nice passes from Deli Ali to score and to try and get some more goals for Everton this season Tanguy and Dombele to Lyon. On alone, one word to describe this, happy. I'm actually so happy. Our record signing did not live up to his potential and I am just so happy he's left. Tanguy and Dombele had something to say to Tottenham Hotspur and it was very interesting. I took this very, it was a bit, it was very weird in my opinion. He, had, he said, I had five different managers at Tottenham. I needed something else, but I still belong to Tottenham. I may still play there next year. That's a bit it's a bit bizarre. I don't know what I have to say about that. I mean, he's saying that he might play at Tottenham Hotspur next year. Frankly, I don't really want him to play. I mean, I don't see why he, he deserves to play. He does he's not living up to his potential. He was incredible for Leon uh, when, when we signed him and hoping that he would do the same for us, but clearly he hasn't. The Premier League is much tougher than the French League, and that just shows how Tangy Ndombele can't dribble past 15 players. He has to learn how to be a team player past the and create something in a team way. He cannot do everything by himself. Rodrigo Bentanka. Rodrigo Bentanka to Spurs for 19 million. He's a very hard working midfielder and he does do his job amazingly. He doesn't stand out in anything uh, in particular. Similar to Hoiberg, he doesn't stand out in anything. Hoiberg, he just does his job. He does what the manager wants and that is all we really want. Rodrigo Bentanka is a tactical player. He will listen to everything the manager has to say and he will do it on the pitch. He loves to find spaces to open up, to allow a pass to come to him. Therefore, he can create something. He likes to move around. He's, he's got the potential and because he's opening up spaces, it allows the player who has the ball to drive forward and to try and create something. If it's not, if he, if the player who has the ball can't go forward and create something, then it allows the player with the ball to pass it to Bentanka. So Bentanka can try and do something with the ball, create something. His passing is outstanding. He's not a player that will get tired during the game and he's, and he's capable of completing 90 minutes easily, unlike Tangi and Dombele, who uh, were struggling. Dejan Kulisevsky on loan from Juventus. Spurs have an obligation to buy him for 25 mil if they qualify for the Champions League and the total fee could exceed 40 mil if he plays over 50% of the matches. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Once again, 25 mil if they do qualify for the Champions League and the total fee can exceed until 40 million if he plays over 50% of the matches. He's 21 years old and he plays as a right winger. So you can see Tottenham Hotspur have a bright future if they do decide to buy uh, Kulisevsky um, from Juventus. It's interesting to see how Kulisevsky will have to fight for his position as Lucas Moore has been outstanding this, this season and how Steven Bergwijn has lately been very, very good for Tottenham Hotspur. So it'll be interesting to see who wins the fight for the right wing spot. Will it be Steven Bergwijn, Lucas Moore or will it be Dejan Kulisevsky? Let us know in the comments down below. Franco has gone to Valencia on loan. Um, I think that's a fantastic opportunity for him to get some game time. Uh, it's very hard to fight for spots in the Tottenham Hotspur starting eleven because you've got the likes of Lucas Moura, Son, Steven Bergwijn who are taking up those, those spots. So um, for him going on loan to Valencia is an amazing deal done by Tottenham Hotspur. It allows him to get more opportunities. I saw him play his debut um, against some team and he looked very, very good. Nutmegging, you know, a couple players here, a couple players there. He looked very, very sharp for Valencia and I can't wait to see him play for Tottenham Hotspur. Hopefully he can get more experience at Valencia to then go to Spurs and you know smash it in the Premier League so I still believe in Brian Hill just keep up the support he's only a young lad come on guys Giovanni Lo Celso to Villarreal on loan for the remainder of the season I think that's another player who deserves game time he's been outstanding for Argentina in the Copa America um, and I think he only deserves more game time at tournaments where he's very hard once again to fight for um, game time as you guys know we got Hoiberg, Skip, Winksy um, them all are taking the spot over Giovanni Lo Celso, but also the injuries came into play and that also stopped Giovanni Lo Celso to get some minutes. To conclude, January's transfer market for Tottenham Hotspur is 
7 out of 10 for me. It was being decent in terms of the players we allowed to leave the club. Uh, Deli Ali, uh, Tangi Ndombele, Brian, Brian Cahill, Giovanni Lo Celso, and also been great to see some new players, some new faces into the squad like Kulisevsky and Ben Tanker. Um, I think that's great to add some more, uh, you know, fighting spirits to the team. And as we, see, as we see, Antonio Conte loves players who fight for the badge, as any other manager would like. Got rid of the players who don't really care about it anymore, and I totally agree with it. We've got a bright future here at Tottenham Hotspur with Brian Hill, extremely young, Kulisevsky, who's extremely young, Oliver Skip, and so on. We can't wait to see the boys play against Brighton on Saturday, so make sure you guys tune in for that game. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's get to 500 subscribers. Come on, Spurs, and up the Spurs.